Hi, Bill. Thanks for uh, joining my tech talk. I appreciate it. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So we have Bill here, who's the CEO of Remotely Me. And um, it's just a really neat topic that I've been getting introduced to over the last week and a half, two weeks. And I've taken the test and um, got my scores back. But um, tell us a little bit more about uh, Remotely Me. We're a better known firm. And over the past few years, we discovered that what remote teams really need isn't just tools and technology, as important as those are. It's really trust, communications, and engagement. And our economical SaaS platform helps inspire all three of these areas by leveraging the latest neuroscience, personality profiling, integrated communication playbooks, and personalized wellness and professional development portals. Now, I know that sounds like a lot. Uh, so to summarize, we help inspire trust, communications, and engagement. Got it. How is working remotely, what do what you guys are seeing that working remotely now is different than what it used to be? A lot different. We all know that working remotely was already expanding quite a bit before the pandemic. Now, 84% of firms say it'll mostly stay that way because of the economic and other benefits. But 71% of these firms were unprepared, not just technically, but more importantly, from an employee engagement, communications, wellness, and other standpoints. So now many of them are scrambling. You know, as you know, they're, they're trying to cobble together various disparate solutions to solve these issues. And most of them are expensive. They're difficult to manage. So we offer a single integrated platform that does it all. And does it all, meaning not only just the technology connecting, but you're talking about the wellness part as also. Exactly. So we're involved mostly with people and mm -hmm. how people engage and communicate and interact with each other and whether or not we can trust each other when we're working remotely. Well, and the challenges that re we're facing now working remotely versus before the pandemic is kids at home, dogs, everything going on at home while you're trying to work, right? So your stress level <laughs> is quite a bit higher. Absolutely. Uh, how many calls have we been on where the dogs are barking, the kids screaming, climbing all over people, spouses coming in? Uh, we just had the uh, lawnmowers you heard earlier out here fired up right before our call. Wi-Fi is glitching, things aren't working. So, you know, let's be honest, a three minute commute is great. Three hour Zoom meeting, not so much. <laughs> now, I mentioned 71% of firms were unprepared, but really so were a majority of workers. A lot of them just aren't used to working remote. It's the new abnormal. We're seeing a massive increase in remote working courses and we offer it as free on our site. Mm -hmm. So the, you know, the video calls and so forth are good but we lose a lot of these subtle communication clues like our hand gestures, our eye movements. We lose the vocal tones. When we're on emails, we lose the ability to manage um, better. And by walking around, we really uh, lose the ability to communicate with each other like we used to over the water cooler, so to speak. Right. So to communicate effectively, the first thing we need is to know who we're talking with, right? That requires a new way to determine your personality profile, the test that you took, along with a new way to communicate with each other that's more personalized for each type. Talk to me about the neuroscience and the different uh, chemicals in the brain. That's what I, that's what I love about um, discovering with you. It's not, the, it's not the same old questions and getting the same old answers with these personality profiling tests. You guys are taking it to this whole new dimension. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's well beyond what we've seen from the past. So we know that even before the pandemic, trust was this huge issue. Most organizations want accountability. They want to ensure workers are working mm -hmm. and employees have more autonomy. Uh, that's what they want. That requires more, more trust. Well, the new scientific studies now prove that to increase trust, 
requires increasing a brain chemical called oxytocin. It's very vital to increasing trust. But if we can do this correctly, teams can have 76% more engagement, 50% more productivity. It's pretty big. Gallup found that when we increase our engagement, revenue and profits can go up by something like 20 some percent. Wow. Now it's hard to be, yes, it's really big, but it's hard to be properly engaged if we're not really communicating and talking with each other. And bad communications can result in an 86% project failure rate. And it's, it's pretty bad. That's so huge. the impact, it's huge. Uh, the impact really is, is quite, quite large. And we need to understand what these various different neurotransmitters, neurochemicals are in our brain before we can resolve some of these issues. And the old way we did that, it's just not working. Myers-Briggs and DISCs are now 80 years old. They were never based on science. So we first need a neuroscience-based way to measure our brain scores. And yeah, we can actually do that now. We can take an eight minute web or mobile test to determine those balances. And that's important because if they're out of balance, we won't trust and we won't feel or perform or communicate properly. So how, so talk to me about how Remotely Me is solving or help solve this issue. You've got your portal that the user, the the HIPAA com a compliant portal, right? Which is a big deal that the employees are logging into. So talk to me a little bit more about that. Exactly. Now, once we know your brain score, your profile, there's 18 different profiles. We can then direct you to your personalized HIPAA compliant portal. It's also high trust secure, very solid, which is really important as you know for technology. Which helps with the trust. Absolutely. And on that portal, we have personalized wellness, uh, all kinds of information and courses. You can sync your Fitbit, you can take um, a health assessment, and you can also improve your career with professional development. There's programs and courses, how do I work remotely? Tons of information coming from phenomenal sources like Harvard, Stanford, Ken Blanchard, the author of The One Minute Manager, top neuroscientists, leadership and sales coaches, there's even some IT and security team information, uh, all kinds of stuff to help lower stress, improve our diets and health, our stamina, and help us advance our careers. Also, personalized communication playbooks. Now, these can be integrated directly into Microsoft Teams, like we're talking on now, Slack, Zoom, Salesforce, Trello, whatever. And these provide you with insights. How do I engage properly with others, like my peers, my bosses, my subordinates, customers, vendors? How do I engage on email, LinkedIn, video calls, whatever? Wow. And so on. Yeah, so what, it's, what a it's great really resource. Finally, your leaders really want to see the total visibility. They want to have the visibility of what's going on. It doesn't do you any good to have these tools if you don't have metrics to measure your success. So you need a dashboard, dashboards to see red flags, the progress, the trends like trust, wellness, stress, and so on. And then just icing on the cake, recruiters can use the same platform to screen candidates using the profile test and then use the communication playbooks to better communicate with them and entice them to come on board. Well, again, we've seen 74 billion <laughs> being thrown at wellness, communication, engagement solutions, and they're just not working uh, as mentioned. And so, and that's because they use simple surveys that are one size fits all, they're not personalized. And employees don't feel safe. They don't trust that if they answer these questions, their, their autonomy is not gonna be uh, perhaps compromised in some way. So with ours, through our HIPAA compliant portal, Every week you take a six minute or month, but we recommend a week uh, check in and that's private and personal. HIPAA compliance means you cannot expose that to the employer and it tells you what's going on with your brain scores. Hey, it looks like your serotonin is a little bit low. Well, here's how you can get it back up so you feel better, perform better, and you don't act like uh, you shouldn't on a Zoom call. 
Uh, your norepinephrine <laughs> levels are too high. Your stress levels are up. You know, do the following things. Adjust your diet and your exercise this way. It's, it's really quite powerful and very informative. How do we find more about Remotely Me? Obviously, just go to remotelyme.com. Remotelyme.com. <laughs> it's that simple. Remotelyme.com. And uh, everything you need is there. And it's actually, you know, a lot of people say, wow, you know, this is a lot. Uh, it's got to be really expensive. Just the opposite is true. And it's because we have found ways to get our costs down now so that it's really quite affordable, quite a bit less expensive than your typical employee engagement solution. You know, pennies on the dollar and compared to the ROI you get out of this, it's it's affordable for really any size company, all the way from 10 people, all the way up to 10,000 or more. Well, I mean, if you're, what you're saying is 80%, 86% fail rates in projects with non-trusting and non-engaged employees, that's huge. And then 20% profitability growth when you have uh, employees trusting and engaged, um, that obviously pays for the remotely me cost. <laughs> yeah, sure. okay. definite, definite, are definitely offsets uh, any of those minuscule costs. Uh, that uh, you, you know, you have to think of it as an investment. And as mentioned, uh, if you're not investing in your employees, you're not investing in your most important resource. It's not something we can ignore any further. Uh, we can see dramatic improvements in our productivity and in our revenues and in our engagement and retention. You know, keeping people on your payroll even now, especially after the pandemic, you're going to see a huge demand for employees and it's going to be hard to find and keep the right people. You've got to treat them well to keep them and it's very costly if you don't. Well, thanks, Bill. I really appreciate your time. Thanks you for taking the time for us. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Great to be here. Appreciate the time and looking forward to working more closely with you guys. <laughs>